Hello friends and welcome to A Shot of Code. Today we're going to be looking at Polymer 3 gestures but using the lit element as the base class. Uh, now I've done a couple of previous videos using um, gestures with the Polymer element as the base class. Um, you can check those out here if you haven't used gestures before uh, because we'll be using that as a base so it might be hard to understand if you haven't seen them previously. With that said, let's jump in. I've got Visual Studio Code open with our, one of our previous projects, which was the swipe left, swipe right. Uh, if we look at that here. Um, you can see when I swipe across the screen here with the cursor, I'm getting swipe right and swipe left. And then also with uh, touch as well. Um, and if I clear the bottom down here, if I'm moving slowly, we're just getting the track event going. And as soon as I go fast, we get the swipe. Um, now, the, the component here currently is using Polymer Elements. So let's, uh, let's start by changing this over to Lit Element, like so, and we'll change our import to lit element like that um, and then what else do we need? we need we no longer use static get template we override the render function uh, and we'll pass our props in to our function here now Okay, and our binding here where we hide and show um, won't work quite the same in lit element. Let's change it to um, class and we'll say um, if, so if swipe right is true, then we won't put a class on, but if it isn't true, we'll put the hidden class on. And that should work for us. Just need to put that inside dollar parenthesis, uh, and then we'll do the same down here. The parenthesis props. So if, swipe, if we're swiping right, no class, and if we're not, we want it hidden. Uh, I've just got that hidden class up here, which is doing display none for us. Um, okay, now, as at the moment, I can't um, seem to get the um, declarative option for gestures working, where we have the on track specified as an attribute. To get this going with lit element, uh, we need to do it imperatively. Uh, if you want to see a video on the difference between declarative and imperative, I've got one here, by the way. Um, but let's take that out of here for now um, and just trim that down so we can see everything a bit better. Uh, and then what we need to do is do another import here um, to be able to add this imperatively. So we're going to import everything from, in this case, at uh, Polymer, and then Polymer, and into Lib, and then into Utils, and we should have gestures in there. Uh, and that will mean we can use this gestures object here. Um, and so rather than placing on track on here, we're going to create a ready function. And call super dot ready. Um, so at this point, everything is available to us, and we can say gestures dot add listener, and then we need to provide uh, the object that we're going to do the listen on. And in that case, it's our whole element. So we just say this, and then we say which event we're after, and we want the track event. And then we need to provide a callback, and we'll have our handle track there. Um, and if we just bind to this, then we'll have the correct this pointer um, inside here when we're looking at um, our properties. 
All right, so that should be it to convert it over. Um, so as I say, we're doing it imperatively now rather than declaratively. Uh, we're using lit element. So let's give it a refresh and see. Okay, so we're still getting swipe right. Um, ooh, swipe left isn't working. Oh, yes, let me change it over to class there. Uh, so let's refresh and swipe right still good and swipe left is working also um so there you go just a quick one there just showing um what you need to do to get gestures working with lit element in polymer 3. hope that was interested uh, interesting um if you'd like to see some more videos on this then um click on that subscribe button below but thanks very much for watching bye